Today we cannot close or open a clamp on Veritech wood processor. Let's diagnose the issue. This is a logger 2054 John Deere wood processor. Guys, if you first time to the channel, please subscribe, click the notification bell. Thank you so much for doing that. Let's turn our wood processor on. Okay, we're loading files and yeah verify the complaints yeah i'm pushing that upper button on the joystick and i cannot close my clamp okay it can open but uh, closing function doesn't work so works upper so is working as well i checked the rest of the functions they were good let's start taking that joystick apart okay as you can see there is an allen screw at the top to remove the push button and that sounds okay so far you can see it clicks not sticking okay there's a two allen screws on the bottom of the joystick let's remove them just be careful not to lose those parts it can be really hard to find them all right there's a another tiny little guy at the top of the joystick there is a small phillips screw remove that and take your upper cover off and as you can see all components are on the bottom part of the joystick make sure all parts stay the same way so easy to lose those small components just be extra careful okay i have my control port on a seat as you can see there's different buttons for multiple functions of the wood processor and at the top we have that push button for the switches there's a uh, two micro switches wired together one for opening and another one for closing the clamp on a wood processor and uh, let's do the visual inspection first the visual is a key just let's check for switches let's check for loose broken wires or rusted corroded connections and just see your uh, soldering here we go all right see this green guy that wire broke loose inside the pinhole and soldering well, doesn't do anything and just hanging in a hole and that caused intermediate issue with the closing grapple but we're right at the switch let's check the continuity and uh, ohm resistance i set my multimeter to resistance i'm looking for resistance under one ohm we have 0.3 which is good and let's test another one it is uh, 0.115 which perfect okay let's solder that connection i already did it and um, yeah let's check it out will it help or not then we know for sure that was a first i found this broken loose wire at the switch wasn't broken it was loose and caused an intermediate issue and as you can see we also have 24.6 volts supplied to the switch we have a power let's push the button we should see the function here we go open close and open here we go electricity can flow and make a closed loop right on well simple as that when you know where to look and you know what you're looking for here we go it's working and that was the issue for a couple days it didn't want to sometimes react but now we got it and we measure the resistance, we also measure the uh, power supply, we know the voltage is there, and uh, yeah, and simple as that, guys. Yeah, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, put them down in the description below. I thought it will be more complicated, but that wasn't, and uh, as always, look for visual obvious things and sometimes those switch micro switches can go bad from overusing they just uh, stick close or open and they don't break a circuit all right thank you so much again for watching if you like the video put a thumbs up and uh, if it will help someone that will be awesome okay guys take care and uh, see you soon bye bye now